you know, coming off a season where we won just six games last year and us coming aboard, um, there's more talent in this in this club than to win six games in the conference. So I think I think right off the get go, whatever happened last year, injuries, you know, where things start going south, sometimes a snowball, you know, effect happens. I think that um, just a different atmosphere right away will allow us to win a handful more games. And you start getting around 12 wins in the MAC. Quite frankly, that's usually enough to get you in the top eight out of the 12 teams. So if we can be a near 500 team, that gets you in. Now, you know, right now, our goal is not to go 500 in the conference. But if you're just talking about, you know, mathematically how you get in, um, I think just just almost by purely uh, putting in a little different system and having the guys in the, in the different atmosphere will allow for that. Yeah, I mean, we talk about we talk about the goals, the goals making the conference tournament. We've got six seniors that I think don't want to go out on a career note of not having been to the tournament since their freshman year and only going once in four seasons. So they're definitely motivated. They're, um, they're a really good group of kids. They work hard and really I, I just have a lot of faith and confidence that as they continue to do that, that we'll have an opportunity in May in, in Ohio. So. Um, yeah, we, we, we feel very good about it. We trust what we're doing, and um, you know, hopefully that, that shows itself at the end of May. Hey guys, but I mean, Johnny Rubino had a very good year last year, and so we expect him again to be a really important part of the offense. Uh, bat up in the order. Um, there's some guys like Austin Wilson, who uh, played a fair amount last year. Kind of had a good freshman year and then struggled as a sophomore, so we're looking for that bounce back year. We think he's capable. And then I think some other guys who just maybe haven't had as many opportunities um, that now more full-time role, I think, will be able to step in and, and give us those numbers. I mean, some of the guy, John Montgomery, didn't have many at-bats last year. Uh, we really feel good about him offensively. Uh, Mitch McGeehan, Mike Mitashevsky, um, and then we've got a, um, a first-year player, junior college transfer named Jordan Peterson. I, mean, I think right there you got four guys that can hit in the middle of the order. Uh, senior Adam Dennison, who, who from what he's telling me is probably the healthiest he's been in his career here, who we think can swing it pretty good. So, you know, I think all those guys, provided of course they stay healthy, but even assuming so, have the ability to drive in runs, uh, you know, double, extra base hit kind of guys. And I think this year we're even more disciplined and have the mentality that we are going to win it's not it's not going to be sneaking a win when we win we're going to make a statement if we win and we're going to go out there and think we're going to win and i think you know the attitude around here is that it's it's changed and we expect to win and we expect a lot out of ourselves you know whether it's arizona or you know central arizona or any any team no matter what we're playing I want our guys to focus on us. So we play game one the same as we play game 25, same as game 56. And if we take the same approach all the time, I believe then you see more consistent results. And I like consistency. I like knowing what I'm going to get. And when I know that every day they show up, they're going to give me effort, they're going to mentally be in the ball game, I know that that's going to equal more wins than losses. I'm not going to win every game. You're going to make mistakes. But um, the approach should always be the same. I don't think you get too high, you don't get too low. It's a marathon. Even in a 56-game college season, it's a marathon. And um, you know, I really think that's the way to approach it. I think if you get too wrapped up in who you're playing or you get too high, then you kind of get outside of, of what you've prepared for. You get outside of your ability, and, and too many other things can distract you.